Hello, Stu here from DIYmusic.co.uk with another FL Studio tutorial. This time we're going to look at mid-side processing using the Fruity Shaper. So I'll get straight into it. I have a stereo audio track loaded here and routed through this channel. Okay, so what we want to do is take that stereo information and split it into the mid, which is the uh, audio, the mono audio going straight down the middle of the track, and the side, which represents the stereo information, uh, which can then be added to the mid to create the full stereo audio track. The benefit of doing this is that we can process the side and the mid separately from each other and achieve some cool effects. So the first thing you want to do is load up the stereo shaper onto the mid. And we're going to use the preset mid to A side splitter. And what that does is put the mid through the track it's on and send the side information to a side chain track. So we're going to have to side chain mid to this one, which I've called side. Right click, side chain to this track. Just in here, you've got the uh, offset for uh, which side chain, <clears throat> sorry, which linked track you send the side to. If you pick one, it goes to the first, which is master. We're going to pick two because we want it to go to this one, which is side. If I play now, you should see the signal going through mid and side. Okay, so uh, we've split it now. We can do some uh, effects to just the stereo information. The simplest thing to do is to increase or decrease the, <clears throat> the stereo width by uh, increasing or decreasing the volume of the mid or the side. So I'll increase the side, and you can listen and hear how that increases the stereo width of the uh, overall track. You hear that getting wider? If you get rid of the side completely, you're left with just a mono uh, signal. So if I, I'll show you, I'll turn that off. If you get rid of the mid, uh, you end up with a really odd sounding track because the side uh, doesn't become the stereo until you actually add it to the mid. So I'll play this with the uh, the mid cut down, so you can hear just the side and how weird that is. Okay, so uh, you can increase the width just by increasing the side. You could also decrease the mid. That would have the same effect. I'll bring this down a little bit. It just makes it a little bit wider. The other common use of mid-side processing is to force the uh, lower frequencies, mainly the bass and the kick, into the center of the stereo field. You can do that by using EQ on the side. So we'll do that now. Parametric EQ. And what we'll do is just a low shelf to cut the bass frequencies from the side which means they will be more focused down the middle in the mid. I'll do it gradually so you can hear what difference uh, that makes. Okay, so I've gone into about 300 there. And anything below that will be forced to the middle of the stereo spectrum. Let me just click it on and off so you can hear the difference. Can you hear the bass and the kick is more focused with that EQ on the side? So that's just one uh, or two 
basic tricks you can do with mid-side processing. You can really add any effect you want to either of these, and then when they're mixed back together, it'll sound good or terrible. I'd, I'd recommend experimenting, see what you can achieve. Um, maybe increasing a bit of the high end on your side will add sparkle and width to the whole thing. Um, another thing you might want to do is uh, find your way your vocal frequency sits and cut that from the side which will force your vocal into a more sort of central position it all depends on the track and what you're trying to achieve but that is basically how you do mid-side processing in fl studio using the uh, fruity stereo shaper so hopefully that's useful um please do leave me comments uh have a look at my facebook page and my twitter page or uh, my website which is diymusic.co.uk if you've got any questions, just get in touch and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.